What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the studio. So we got some good news, bad news. It just depends on who you are and how you, you know, how you feel about this show. So it has been announced that Paramount Plus is going to cancel. Not going to. It is canceled. Halo, the series has been canceled on Paramount Plus. And to some, that's a good thing. To some, I've only seen a lot of people say that's a good thing that it's been canceled. Because honestly, I couldn't make it past season one. Like I was in mid season one and I was kind of just, nah, I'm good on this one. I'm, I'm good on this one. And like the one thing that I find funny about media, you know, entertainment nowadays is that, you know, nobody wants to be original anymore. Like people are just, hey, let's reboot this. Let's remake that. Let's uh keep this one show going and just keep adding nonsense you know let's just do this let's do that and you know with the whole quote unquote people being upset about things being woke nowadays a lot of people in the entertainment industry thinking that oh let's throw some woke stuff in there so we can bring more eyes into that and all it does is just bring it, it might bring some eyes into it and some days it might not it you know it just depends on who you are but nobody's being original nowadays and like with halo i felt like this could have just been its own show it this could have been something totally different it didn't need the halo name to it at all but just to bring eyes to the show they named it halo like for example witcher i haven't played none of the witcher games i haven't read none of the books but from what i've been told and what i've been what i've read from like descriptions on the games and all that kind of stuff they didn't follow source material at all and my thing is the biggest thing to me when it comes down to these these shows when they adapt video games comics or cartoons is that hey if you're gonna take somebody else's idea and adapt it into something at least stick to some of the source material like it's really not that hard to stick to source material like i get it with the comic books because they flex the multiverse a lot so in a way you could take a character like batman and tweak him a little bit i'm not saying just change the whole entire character but you could tweak him a little bit like for example if you're on hbo max they have this they have two batman movies on there called uh gotham by gaslight and i think i don't think the other movie was a sequel to gotham by gaslight but it kind of came off as a sequel to gotham by gaslight where batman actually turns into a actual batman and so on and so forth i just spoiled it for you but go check it out cthulhu's in the movie and all that kind of jazz it's a wild ass movie to be honest with you but i like those animated movies something like that but the biggest issue that i see with a lot of people that aren't just out there just being obnoxious and stuff is that originality is not there anymore and it's really not and some days it's kind of hard to be original but at the same time though taking a property that's been here for damn near 20 years like halo and doing what you what they did with halo that that ain't it because i was watching it and i'm trying to follow everything that's going on but i'm all like is this supposed to be based on the games are they is this like when is this supposed to be happening like in between what game or is it just an alternate universe or this ain't really the master chief that we know and he's just using the name so he can get brownie points with people it, 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 it's so much going on with that show i was just like they would have been better off making this now if this was something just totally different like it wasn't halo if it was like inspired by halo and that they made this show because of the fact that they you know they was just so inspired by the games that they wanted to make a show similar like halo but it wasn't halo then yeah i'm pretty sure people would have been all like oh yeah i fucks with this dude this is amazing this could be like the next battlestar galactica or some shit but no they had to put it make it halo they had to make the main character master chief and the one thing that i know for a fact pissed off a lot of fans was the fact that homeboy removed his helmet and even though yes master chief has removed his helmet in the past before it's we never seen his face though that's one of the things that we never got to see to this day we don't know if master chief is white black mexican uh his I mean, hispanic is mexican uh at italian Fran french whatever we don't know what this dude is and i think it's best that we just leave it like that to be completely honest with you just have us you know guessing what he could be i mean i might create a lot of discord on the internet but at least nobody knows what race master chief is and i like i said keep it like that keep it like that but they didn't keep it like that with the series and i felt like that's your first fuck up then master chief out here piping down bitches and stuff i'm like bro since when master chief since when master chief had time to have sex when did master chief ever time to even jack off like 
Like, be be real with yourself. Master Chief ain't got no time to be, uh, you know, piping down some females. He trying to stop the covenant, the flood, the, uh, I'm about to say the reach, but the covenant, the flood, you name it. He trying to stop them from trying to kill all humanity. So how does this dude find time to, you know, pipe down some females? Like, he don't. I'm surprised he even found time to take a shower. So it was just like, what? It, it, it was, it, it was it was crazy to watch. I'm not even going to lie. I didn't make it to season two. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Now, I have seen some people out there give, you know, it a thumbs up. Like, hey, it was I. It, they wouldn't say it was amazing, but it was I. And I'm just like, uh, I don't know about that one. But like I said, Cheech is on, you know, different strokes for different folks. If you like it, you like it. I'm not bashing you for it or nothing. I ain't going to say that you're not a real fan of Halo because you enjoyed the show. Nah, bro, because at the end of the day. I'm not paying your light bill. I'm not paying your cable bill. I'm not paying your Paramount bill and all that stuff. That's you. You want to put your money into it to watch this? That's all. That's on you, Ken Folk. That's on you. I ain't got no control over it, so I'm not that type of fan. But, I mean, I am a big fan of Halo. Halo Infinite was... Uh, it was... It, it was... It, it wasn't bad. But it, it wasn't bad. It wasn't awful. It was like... I guess it was like middle of the road now multiplayer has gotten better now, i will say that though it has got that has gotten better but the story though i'm just thinking that maybe just maybe we might need to go ahead and let master chief ride off into the sunset you know what i'm saying the game it wasn't too bad now halo 5 i wouldn't yeah no nah, i wouldn't fucking with that one for some reason i didn't like that one at all halo 4 meh Halo 1, 2, and 3, always going to be classics. I always, Halo Reach, my number one favorite uh, Halo game. Halo Reach really had your boy in his feelings like Final Fantasy Crisis Core. That game, that, that made me a believer in the Halo series for damn sure. But all in all, though, Halo has been canceled. This is, and I'm going to stick to what I said here, though. I wish more people in the entertainment industry would be more, you know, creative, be more open-minded, you know, actually be original. And I think a lot of that is from the big wigs that are above the producers and the directors and the writers and stuff because they want to see certain things and they think oh i see halo is making a lot of money my kid loves halo he won't shut the fuck up about it let's make a tv show about it you know your favorite franchise video game might have already had a tv show movie or later on down the line will probably have one so we just hope and pray that whoever gets a hold of these you know properties these ips and all that stuff that we get something i wouldn't say amazing but decent because we all know they're gonna add their little twist to it and it's probably gonna be good it's probably gonna be bad it's just depending on who's you know running the show and all that stuff but y'all let me know in the comments below how do you feel about the halo show being canceled on paramount plus did you like it did you love it did you dislike it or did you just think it was just a waste of time let me know in the comments below but other than that guys i love y'all take care peace